Tom Cruise. Anyway, uh, let's go on to the uh, bike. Sure. Okay. Now, I belong to the uh, Royal Enfield Owners Club in England, and so I'm going to try and not make a mistake if I can. This, I believe, will be a 1946 to 30, uh, 49 year motorbike. And the reason I say this is for a number of reasons. It has the Valence guard. Uh, it has the chromium petrol tank, the G series. This is a Royal Enfield G series. They made two series the G and J. The G were 350cc and the J's were 500, but they're identical bikes. And what I would have to do to make this a J is to put exactly the same engine in but a 500cc, mm -hmm. not a 350, and change the serial numbers, of course. Uh, and number three will be the toolboxes. Most, most of the Enfields have this, but these toolboxes are usually from 39 to 49 maybe, they use this on some series. The engine is uh, a 350, but these were used I think the first ones were made in 1938 and uh, they were also used in the WD uh, uh, C's and CO's. The C's were a side valve, the CO's were the valves were on top here. So this is exactly like the military bikes at Royal Enfield made in World War II, um, except the military bikes, had, they didn't have this Valence guard here, There's a smaller guard like this, and they didn't have telescopic forks, they were um, the typical, uh, what are they called, girders. Goethe, Goethe forks. Okay, yeah. Goethe. They had a big yeah. spring in the centre right on the side, mm -hmm. and they were spring forks. Uh, the seats were always the same, usually Terry seats. So this one, uh, the interesting part about this series of bikes, the G's, the J's, they were the first models made after the war by Royal Enfield, and. Uh, they were the first bikes by Enfield to have the telescopic forks. And they were the first bikes to have the neutral selector on the gearbox. That's interesting. Royal Enfield is the only company in the world that has this automatic neutral finder. So what happens is if you're in second gear, press it down, and this comes up, and then when you stop at a stoplight, you just press it down and it's automatically in neutral. You don't have to slip around the gears and so on. That's it's convenient, actually. Very convenient. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, he was just like two months, but <laughs> you'd hear him in the background. <laughs> he doesn't like it, does he? Oh, he doesn't like it, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a triumph guy. Yeah, okay. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's built, well, the motto for Enfield made like a gun. Oh. Right now, there's some very small association with guns, with Royal Enfield. When you look at BSA, they were owned by a gun-making company. Wow. But for Royal Enfield, uh, they, they've got a picture of this gun, big gun, as an emblem but uh, they really don't have too much of an association with the gun making company. Uh, the good thing about these bikes, they are built to last. 
they just keep going. They never stop going. So go long. and go and go and go. Uh, the only issue uh, with some people that have these old British bikes, you've got a few knobs on the handlebar to work around. Okay. Uh, quite a few knobs. Uh, example, 